you a question. Do you think that in 2021, we're going to be much better than 2020? I tell you 2020 is the beginning of the end. 2021 is going to take us further. We're not going backwards. And God has tried to extend the limit as far as he can. Watch this now. Water wars are coming. What's coming? What do you mean water wars are coming? What's he talking about? Start planning for a world with what? A lot less water. Now, the less water we have, what does that mean? What did we just read? Coming water wars. Water wars are coming. Now, my brothers and sisters, this means something. Billions of people on every, not millions, but what? Billions on every continent face a future of increasing water scarcity and the COVID-19 pandemic has worsened the situation. What happens if there's no water? What happens to food if there's no water? You know, they don't grow. Before as we study, what do we find? That there's the same field of knowledge, the same, the same points on every subject. The ecosystem of the earth is breaking down. Right now, the lithium, lithium, you know what you know what we do with lithium? What do we do with lithium? Batteries. You know that the world could not function in te technology cannot function without lithium. But you know that lithium comes from the ground. And that every country does not have lithium. But that what is more basic to life than lithium? Water. Then what will America do for water? What will the country do for water? We need water. There's a water problem. But we've been studying about the solution to the water problem. What's the solution? Rain. What's the name of that rain? Early rain and the... Now we're in the face. Where we're not just talking about what the rain is. Why we need the rain. How to understand the rain. We're now in the phase of understanding the science of how to receive that rain. Brothers and sisters, it says, whatever the what? Mistakes or failures of the past we may by ourselves because we're so strong no 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 we may have talk to me somebody with the help of god do what rise above them i'm gonna tell you something the only way to rise above them we need water what is our greatest need the holy spirit just prior to his leaving his disciples for the heavenly courts jesus encouraged them with the promise of the holy spirit this promise belongs as much to us as it did to them, and yet how rarely it is presented before the people and its reception spoken of in the church. In consequence of this silence upon this most important theme, what promise do we know less about by its practical fulfillment than this rich promise of the gift of the Holy Spirit, whereby efficiency is to be given to all our spiritual labor? The promise of the Holy Spirit is casually brought into our discourses, is incidentally touched upon, and this is all. Prophecies have been dwelt upon, doctrines have been expounded, but that which is essential to the church in order that we may grow in spiritual strength and efficiency, in order that the preaching may carry conviction with it and souls be converted to God, has been largely left out of ministerial effort. Beloved family, now more than ever, this subject of the Holy Spirit is to be given its rightful place. It is high time for us to understand how to enter into the experience of receiving the Holy Spirit in the form of the early and latter rain. Without this heavenly dew, we will never be ready for the storm of trial, heresy, and persecution that has already begun to blow and is soon to break upon the world and the church with hurricane force at the enforcing of the National Sunday Law. The signs of the times indicate that this time is not far distant and what we need now is rain. How can we receive this rain? Must we experience the early rain today? Or was it just for the disciples back at Pentecost? Are there necessary preparations that we need to take during the early rain so that we shall recognize and receive the glorious latter rain? Where did these terms, the early and latter rain, come from anyway? Is there biblical proof showing that the rain even represents the Holy Spirit? Find the answers to these questions and so much more in our CD series and book, Preparing for the Latter Rain, The Final Pentecost. 
For the month of April, we want to shower you with a special blessing and offer these in-time products for a combined price of just $25. This set is great for prayer meetings and revival studies, church or study groups, family, homeschool, and also individual studies. Plus, the first 25 people will get a free Ladder Rain 2-Disc DVD series of a meeting from March 2021. This exclusive set is only available through this month's special. Now, I believe we're at the place where we're ready to study deeply. Are you ready to study more deeply? Just prior to leaving his disciples for the heavenly courts, Jesus encouraged them with the promise of what? What did Jesus say? He was excited. He's sad. He's getting ready to go. But he's, he cheered himself saying, look, I'm going to go, but I have something for you. Amen. It's a gift That's right. that in my absence will do for you what I did when I was here. Order your copy today. www.molministry.com forward slash store. Use code RAIN25 and ask ye of the Lord RAIN. Maranatha.